I made it to the car before I started crying. Why was I doing this again? What was the point? My entire being was screaming at me that this was wrong, that this wasn't the way it should be, and if this was what it meant to be in business, then I wanted out. Where was the depth? Where was the emotion? Where was something real? I'd spent so long building my videography business, recording sales pitches and funnel videos for lots of different entrepreneurs, but, but with all the scripts I recorded, all the perfect and precise posing, and the constant, constant sales ploys pushing people to buy the next big thing, it all felt so, so hollow, so empty, just so fake. This was not what I was meant to be doing with my life, this just felt wrong. The women I was working with were amazing heart-centered people who were changing the world in their own little way but still these videos I was creating for them were not right. I was missing something. But what was it? What was I missing? What was I missing? As I continued on with business as usual, that question stuck with me and over the next 12 months I slowly but surely began to notice something. The moment that camera was turned off, my clients would just relax and just, just start talking. They would share with me stories of their lives, their triumphs and challenges, their frustrations and joys, and, and I would connect with them. In the five minutes after that camera was turned off, I would connect with them more deeply than I had in our entire working relationship. They would drop their masks and just be real and raw, and it was beautiful. That was what was missing, that connection, that vulnerability, that truth. Why weren't we sharing this story with their clients? This story was powerful and real and raw. This story had emotion and depth. This was what was missing. Why weren't we recording this? This teary-eyed woman pouring her soul out to me. This funny goofball laughing over her own silliness. This frustrated woman trying to make a difference in the world. This was exactly what people wanted to see. Not the sales pitches, not the scripts, but this. The story of this real, raw and courageously vulnerable woman in front of me, now that was worth recording, that was worth sharing with the world, that was what I had been missing. Why wasn't I recording these stories? Why wasn't I recording these stories? In that moment of realisation, it was like my inner child had wrapped me in the biggest bear hug of my life and whispered in my ear, remember. In that instant, all those words I had written over the years came flooding back to me. All those late nights hiding under the blanket with a torch so I could get the words out of my head and onto paper. All those days hiding away in my imagination, weaving and creating words into sentences and sentences into paragraphs. This was who I was. This was who I always was. This was who I was always meant to be. I was meant to be telling stories. And these stories, these real, raw and vulnerable stories of such remarkable women, now these stories were worth telling, these were stories worth sharing, and I was going to make damn sure they were recorded. I am Mally S. I am the Story Collector.